Okay, let's go ahead and start and make our little light hanging down in the center of the room there. So let's grab our cylinder, or not cylinder, but our sphere. And let's drag out a sphere, like so. Okay. Now I'm going to select these bottom polygons like this. Hit my shift and up arrow to expand my selection, like so. I'm going to hit the B key for bevel. And I'm going to bevel these in a little. Like so. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is select these bottom polygons again. Hold the shift key, hit the up arrow to expand my selection to there and delete it. And this is what we got. So let's go ahead and select our edges. And I'm going to scale them in just to make it a little even. Like so. Let's go to polygon mode. And let's select these four polygons around on each tip. Like so. Hit the bevel key. And let's bevel these out. Like so. And we're going to scale them in a little bit. Like that. Okie dokie. Now if you wanted to, you can, you know, run the thicken tool and that'll give it an inside. And it's up to you how thick you want it to be. Which for me, I'm not big on that, so I'm going to go back to where I just run the thicken tool and I'm just going to... I'm just going to click once. And when I click once with the thicken tool, that's going to give me my inner polygons there. Okay, now I can select these inner polygons, and I can I can uh, give them a material like a mirror material, like the inside of a doctor's lot. Okay, let's go to our edge mode, and let's select these edges here, and get rid of them. Go to polygon, select that polygon, let's bevel it in, like so. And about, right, that looks okay, let's shift click, bring it down. Like so. I'm going to take it up a little bit. I'm going to shift click again and bring it down. And then I'm going to scale it out. I'm going to shift click, scale it in, shift click, take it back up. Okay. Now let's go to the top here. Edge mode. Let's select these edges up here. Let's get rid of them. Go to polygon mode. Let's bevel this polygon in. Back to the same size, I guess. Maybe a little smaller. And let's bring this way up. Like that. Okay. Now there is our lot, our rough lot. Now what you can do is you can go in and add some detail around this. Um, let's add some loop slices closer to the bottom there like that. Now I'm going to select this loop. I'm going to copy it with Command C. I'm going to go to a new mesh item, paste it. Scale it up a tad, and then run the thicken tool on it, like so. Now I can select this and paste it just a couple times up through here, just to you know give it a little little unique look. Okay, now that puts our rings around there. Now we have our rough lot that goes on there. In our next video, we're going to build the uh, little electric doodad that sticks up right here. And we'll try to attach some of the cables. Um, I need to run some cables between here and here. We'll run them from here to here and all the way around. Okay, let's go ahead and run our cables around.
I'm going to use the sketch extrude because it's so easy, but there's a million and one different ways to do this. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to draw out a little circle, about 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. Okay, now let's bring this forward to about the right spot we want it to be in for our cable. And that's looking pretty good right there. So now we can see this. It's a little gap there. I need to back it up a little. Okay. Now I have this little polygon here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to my model quad view. And I'm going to find that. That's where we're going to do this from. So, go to duplicate. Sketch extrude. And click. When I click, it puts it a little blue dot in the middle of the polygon I had selected. So now let's go to our model quad view and find that little blue dot. And right there it is. Okay, so I'm going to grab this little blue dot and I'm just going to drag it out like this. I'm using sketch extrude because I want it to be a little rough looking. I don't want it to be perfectly straight or circular. And we'll take it right on through like this. And around, and we can adjust this later. We can we can fiddle with it. Let's take it th on through like that, and we'll go on around with it. Like so, we'll come straight through this one. And we're going to bring it on around. Right into here. Like so. Now as you can see, we've got this loose laid looking wire that goes around through there. Let's go to our vert mode. And now we can go into our vert mode. And select our verts. And we can do our adjusting. However we want. So let's do some slight adjustments here. Like so. I want to subdivide it just so I can work with it a little better. Let's go back to our vert mode. And we can start working on these points. And I'm going to mess around with them. Okay, what I want you guys to do is I want you to do the same thing. I want you to mess around with these and I want you to get them looking fairly decent. And I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me tweak these things, okay? But I want them, I want it to have a slight sag to it, like most cables do. And if you want to, you can bring it in closer. You can see there. So I'm gonna go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around through here. I'm gonna tweak all these little cables, and I'm gonna get them laid out the way I want them to look. And um, I will be right back. Now remember, you don't have to use the curve extrude, the sketch extrude for this. You could use the curve extrude if you want. Or you could go to the basic tab and just use your regular old tube tool. Just go in. Find the spot where you want it to be at. About right there. Stick it in place. And as you can see, there's our tube there. And I'm going to bring it out. Around like this. So now we got it sticking straight out there. Go to our model quad view. We can see our tube here, our tube tool. You can see it sticking way out there, so. We'll bring it back in like this. You can see down here in our bottom view, it needs to come up. 
like that. Now all we got to do is just go around clicking our tool, like so. And you can see this little bitty line being laid in there. If you want to up the radius, you can up it. As you can see, it's a little bigger now. We can go even further, make it even bigger. So you can see now we got our second loop going around through there. And we can adjust these however you want. So it's up to you how you want to make these wires. Just make them, and I'll show you what I'm going to make mine look like, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. And as you can see, I just went around and roughly placed in this cable. No big deal. Nothing special. Like I said, you can do it one of several ways. Sketch, extrude, curve, extrude. You can use the tube tool. You do not have to do it like I do 